so it is Halloween. So happy late Halloween. Um, I got on the scale this morning. Um, still having carbs every day. Not gonna, not gonna lie there. Um, still, I had potatoes yesterday. Um, ended up being hungry and I don't, I had ham in the house. It's the only meat I have that I can eat right now. Um, but the ham had been making me not feel so great after eating it. Not like heartburn, just like too much sodium or something. I don't know. Like I was having trouble breathing. Sometimes there's some foods I just can't eat. I have a lot of foods I just can't eat. Anyways, anyways. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. This is my weight loss journey. And, and I lost way over 200 pounds. I used to be 434 in the very beginning. Before keto, though, I low carb starting keto, I was 368. Got down to 157. Doing first year was extremely high fat. Extremely high fat. Heartburn all the time. Sick all the time. Discovered you could do keto on higher protein, moderate fat. So I had done keto for years that way. Um, got down to 157. Got the C word multiple times in the last little over a year now got it four times total um the first time i didn't even know we had gotten it they never told us um and i had a weight gain during that period about 10 15 pounds couldn't get it off january got it again extremely bad um ended up getting to 213 and then got down to the 170s in the end of april um then got it again the beginning of July, got into the 180s, was stuck at 184 for months and months and months with no energy, so I decided to do high fat. Um, my heartburn started coming back really, really bad. I thought it was because of the C word, but at that time, I also had started high fat. Um, then did BBBE, heartburn so bad it was gushing on my body for over a week, and that's why I have been eating carbs. Crackers, potatoes. We're supposed to be eating rice, can't do it, can't do it. My stomach can't handle it. Um, but I don't want to be doing this. I want to be just, just keto, right? So tomorrow, as long as everything goes well, I will get to ask Dr. Eric Westman in person, right there with him, if, how, what can I do? Is other people having, like, I see tons of people online that are having the issue that they gain weight from the sea and they can't get it off no matter how low a carb they went. I was 10 total carbs for months on end and still the weight won't budge. Um, is there something that he can just suggest on keto that will control my heartburn, soak up all that acid um, without having almond flour or stuff like that? Um, so, so yeah. Yeah. Also, I had egg whites last night. I'm going to show you in this video, and though I had no problem with them. Um, so, you're about to see how I just make it, and then I eat it, and I was perfectly fine. Um, maybe that can help soak it up each time, and I could use that instead. That's what I'm going to start trying to use that kind of stuff instead of crackers. I'm totally out of crackers. That's why I ended up with a potato yesterday. But that being said, the day before, I was 200 pounds was freaking out, crying, 200 pounds on that scalp. I peed all night long, y'all. I peed so much, and I had carbs, so I was not expecting to go down a single pound. I peed like a crazy person. Couldn't sleep. I've had no sleep. None. Because between peeing and making a brisket that I started at 3 a.m., and it is, it is 4.30, and it is still going. Um, No sleep. Maybe two hours max. Y'all. I got on the scale at 193. So I peed off seven pounds. I knew, I in my head, I was like, there's no way I'm going down because I had carbs. But I was peeing so much, if I was on keto, I would think I was going down at least five to ten pounds. That's how much I peed. And I did. I did go down seven pounds. So I am happy, but I'm still ten pounds up. I was up 20 in seven days. <laughs> That's how terrible carbs are for me the water weight just piles on really 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 badly so we'll see what tomorrow does um like i said i'm really really hoping to get to see dr eric west in the morning as long as everything goes well um it is quite it's late at night like i won't be home until 10 o'clock at night that's the only reason i iffy about going because i don't like driving that far in the dark alone just because um the world's gotten a little crazy but that being said 
let me go ahead and show you what I made last night with the egg whites and maybe and you will see my brisket and all that today I am gonna try it I am a little scared but I did cut tons of the fat off um, so I'm hoping it will not affect my stomach I will go ahead and show you everything I make and no I will not be eating the corn but I will show you that I make it um I am probably going to try some broccoli but then again, I don't know because then I wouldn't know if it's the broccoli or the brisket. I don't know. We'll see. Because I'm really tired of having to be like, oh, is it this affecting me or is this? Oh my gosh, this affected me this time. It didn't this time. It drives me crazy sometimes. And guess what, y'all? I found out that stress can cause severe heartburn when you have stomach or reflux disease. It can cause severe heartburn. And I know some of y'all think I don't have stress. Holy crap, do I have stress? My dad, when he fell not to a little hole in his leg. He has severe diabetes. He has to go tomorrow because that hole is getting bigger. Instead of fixing itself, his blood sugar gets to 500. No, he won't try keto. I've tried a billion times. Um, so now we're all freaked out that he might lose his leg because it starts that way. A tiny little hole and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So yes, y'all, I have stress. So much stress. I have a lot of appointments this month all over the state of North Carolina and that's month too. But anyways, sometime this month, I'm going to be running out buying a bunch of mustard and different things like that because we won't be having it for a long time here. Let's see. Let me go ahead and show y'all my, my, my night last night and my day so far. Okay, it's 10.30. I'm hungry. I already made my video. So... This will be in the next day's video. Whoa, hold on one second. We gotta get my frying pan. All right. Some dishwasher. Okay, so, Wendy put a message on my thing about trying egg whites by itself, see what happens. You know, try egg whites, forget the egg yolk which was great because I'm hungry and I couldn't figure out what to make. So we're going to give it a shot. I am going to add a tiny bit of keto chow to it though. I'm going to add some butter on my savory chicken keto chow right here. I'm not going to use a lot of it at all. I'm going to get my tablespoon. I think we're going to do one or two tablespoons. Let's see. One might be enough. Okay, let's go ahead and just do two. All right, we're going to do two tablespoons savory chicken keto chow. I'll put this away for another day. Which I think I had some already open. <laughs> there we go. Um, so this is mainly... Just checking to see if I can eat. Oh, this was open and I just cleaned it everywhere. All right, I'm going to clean up my mess. Shut it. Guess I didn't seal it enough. It's still leaking. Well, that's as shaking as it's going to get since it's leaking. All right. I meant to put it on a scale to measure. Hold on. Let me rinse this off. All right, so we have no clue how much I'm using. That's okay. It's not really a recipe. It's just me showing y'all what I'm going to try. I've done this before. With some xanthan gum. Okay, let's heat this up. We'll be back in a second once it's heated. This blender here I have never used. We're going to give it a shot. I think I'm gonna need more egg whites. Okay, hold on. Plug it in. Of course, Dino always has stuff on my counter that's not supposed to be here. Hold on. This trash on the counter. It drives me crazy. Alright, never used one of this kind before, so we're gonna give it a shot. Ooh. 
really loud. All right, I'm going to do this off cam. Holy crap, I didn't know it was loud. All right, I did throw a lot more egg white in there. Um, yeah, this is weird. This is so loud. So, so, so loud, y'all. I was not expecting that. Okay, let's get this a little more brown. This is still leaking. I don't know about this. I don't know why. Alright, we're getting a little more brown. Sounds like it's time to change my laundry too. Okay, I think that's good enough. I am worried that I put too much butter. That is a lot of butter, and this is going to soak it right up. So let's pour a little out, because we want to judge the egg whites on their own. I only put in a little keto chow, which I never have issues with, especially the savory chicken. So... All right, give this a minute to cook up while I go change my laundry. Okay, let's see if this is ready. It's gone a little longer than I wanted to be, but it looks fine. So basically, these are almost like making those egg wrap life thingies almost, except they just use xanthan gum with theirs. But instead, we're gonna make it a little thicker. And yes, I could have used a flake, any other keto chow as well to make it nice and like a pancake like yesterday. But we are just going with this. Let's give it a few more minutes. For eating plain, they kind of have a boring taste, of course. It would be better um, if I was eating something wrapped in it. But this is the texture they come out. They're a pretty strong texture, in my opinion. Um... They're really strong to use like a taco shell, soft taco shell. Um, so I'm going to eat them and see what happens. I honestly don't know if I'm going to eat both of them because it made two. Even after doing carby stuff, I still get full extremely fast. All right, let's see. I'm going to show y'all this big, beautiful brisket. And no, it doesn't have much of a bark, but no one in the family, other than me, likes the bark. No one does. They don't want me to put a bark. Come to find out. Y'all, I started this at 3.30 a.m. and it's now 6.30. Technically, I should let it cool 30 more degrees. But, everyone's hungry. Oh, look at this baby. So, so beautiful. Alright, hold on. I need a picture for... Okay. I need to go check on the food outside, too. Oh my gosh, this is like butter, y'all. Let me go ahead and move this one over to the pan. Y'all look. Look at that. It's so beautiful and so freaking hot. So pretty. I gotta go check the grill. That's why I'm cutting in big chunks right this minute. I gotta get it to the other pan, get it back in the oven so the cats don't get it, and go check the food that's on the grill. 
Woo! Y'all, this stuff is hot, 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 hot. So pretty. I can wrap that piece up to keep the little brats off of it until I get back. Be right back. All right, so here's the brisket from me and Dino. I got it all cut up. Um, I took a bite and it already gave me heartburn off to one bite, so I'm not going to eat much of it. Um, Y'all, I'm so sensitive. It's crazy, but it smells so good and it tastes so yummy. As you can see, I did my hair, makeup, I had my clothes on and was about to walk out the door for my long drive to go see Dr. Eric Westman in the support meeting in Durham. I was iffy all day long. Am I going? Ain't I going? Well, I guess God decided I'm not going. My kitchen sink is leaking and will not drain and we have a huge mess on our hands so we're going to Lowe's instead probably. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that, that's my day, people. That's my day. wonder why my anxiety was causing me problems, and I literally fought my anxiety, got out, almost got out the door. Almost. So, um, yeah, I do live in stress, because, look, now my kitchen sink's broken. It was bad enough the faucets barely put water out for a long time, but it's going to cost over $200 to get the one that will fit my sink. So I, I've been living with low pressure in my water for about a year. And now, now the actual sink won't drain and, and it's leaking underneath. So, um, yay, yay, my day. Still trying to get, is it a pee trap? I don't know, the little elbow thing to come off so we can see if it's stopped up. So not only do we have a stop, we also have two leaks in the pipes. But I'm hoping that it won't leak when there's no water, like, sitting in there. I don't know, y'all. Yeah. My day has been twisted so much. All I've had is a coffee. Um, it's all ended up yesterday. I ate two more bites of that brisket, just bites. Um, it started to give me heartburn, so I ate a plain baked potato with salt. That is all I ate yesterday. Um, and it calms it down immediately. I know, not keto. Not keto. I am going to try the insulin resistant starch thing again and actually do a test. Um, sometime this week for my channel and that's the whole baking it beforehand put it in the fridge overnight and then rewarming it up and see what my insulin does because if I can get away without raising my insulin like my blood sugar levels um, eating the baked potato maybe I I can do what y'all would consider low carb for a while just to see what happens um, because the heartburn thing my nose is running like crazy and is on fire because it is bad it is bad when it happens and I have to pay for it yes I know I shouldn't have tasted the brisket I know I know y'all but I cooked it for 18 hours 18 hours of smelling the delicious brisket it was amazing too <sighs> anyways got to go find a wrench so I just got the notice that the support group is live right now and we are still underneath the sink <sighs> I guess it just wasn't meant to be so you can look at it one of three ways one just shitty luck right? Coincidence. Shitty luck. Two, the devil didn't want me to go. Or three, God decided it wasn't safe for me to drive tonight and I needed to stay home. So I had a crisis, a crisis that he knew that I would not ignore because the kitchen sink is a big thing to me. If it was a bathroom sink or the shower, oh, well, we'll fix it later. Kitchen sink. And no, no, not only do I need to cook, clean, do dishes and my dishwasher runs through there. I have cats. I need my kitchen sink, y'all. So I prefer to look at it as three. I don't believe in coincidences. So one, one shitty luck thing just never worked. Uh, no, mm -mm. to me it's one, one or two, or two or three, and three is the one I'm going with. All right, so it is finally fixed. The sink is fixed. We went out to eat. We were all starving. It was seven o'clock at night. We went to Mexican restaurant. I didn't take a picture of it because I had a fajita taco salad no onions no salsa um so no nothing spicy in it i did eat some of the shells it did have 
about a very small amount of ribeye beans in it. And yes, I did eat it. I am discovering, Sharky, stop. I'm sorry, he's ripping my chair. I am discovering, which isn't the way we want to go, so we just got to figure out a different way, but it is what it is. And I've decided to just stick to um, the rules of eating carbs for the two weeks. And then... Um, the doctor can analyze stuff because I've discovered, like, I wanted to go see Dr. Eric Westman. I know I keep saying, hold on. I wanted to go see Dr. Eric Westman so maybe he could give me pointers on what I could eat to calm my tummy down. That is keto. Um, but I've discovered if I eat, like, crackers or, um, like a chippy, like, flour, um, shell, like the flour shell, if I eat a potato with steak or whatever I'm eating, whatever heartburn I'm about to have or start to have goes away, literally goes away. But this is not the solution because I don't want to not be keto. So we have to find a keto solution to it. So I'm going to have to come up with some recipes, even if it's low carb and I'm using carb quick because a lot of y'all do not believe that's keto. Um, because it is net carbs instead of total carbs. It's a lot added fiber. If I could find some way to create things, I have burps. It's not acid though. To create things where it sews up my stomach acid when I eat. Because I seem to get heartburn no matter what I eat. Unless I'm eating something that helps soak it up. Something like a bread or, or like a, a cracker or um, potato. So far, that is why I found those three things work. Rice doesn't work because rice swells my stomach, so, you know. Um, if I can find something in between. My weight has seemed to stay. It was 193 again this morning, so I'm holding about 10 pounds of water weight. Um, it was 200. So, we just, we gotta discover what will work, right? And like I said, I'm gonna try the insulin resistant potato idea thing. That's basically, if you don't know what it is, you cook your potato and 24 hours later, after it being in the fridge, you recook it and it's supposed to not spike your insulin. I haven't actually tested that on me since for a very long, long, long time. Like, I don't, I don't even remember ever recording a test. Um, so, yeah, we will give that a shot sooner or later. I have some things to go do though, because we wrecked the house. I had to pull everything out from my cabinet and it's drying and I don't know how long it had been leaking. The only way we found out was leaking because it wouldn't, it was all the water in the sink. It wouldn't drain out. And when we got underneath there, we realized after I moved all the products, the baking soda, all that, it was soaking wet because all the pipes were leaking. So not only would it not drain, but it was leaking. And let me tell you, I sprayed that sucker out and it was so gross, so gross spraying those things out. Ooh, ew, kitchen sink pipes, ew. But they are clean now, very, very clean, spotless. So that's it, that, yeah, like I said, we gotta go put it all back together. So I'm sitting here getting ready for bed. I think it's like three in the morning. I don't even know, I can't see the clock over there. Um. And I've been thinking, there are foods that I can eat that doesn't make me sick um, at all, no heartburn, no nothing, but I erase them from my diet because it has a lot of icky sodium that makes me swell a lot, but guess what? Those ingredients would, so it would be considered dirty. Um, is better than me eat what is better than me eating friggin' crackers. That's what I've decided. I have to go buy them though. I've ordered some to come. They'll be here in a few days. Um, because the store is out of it. Um, which let me explain. I cannot stand the taste. All I can have is boneless skinless chicken breast. It doesn't matter how much seasoning I put on it, it doesn't matter how I make it. I hate the taste of it. It tastes horrifying since the C word. But I love the taste of Sam's Warehouse member Mark canned chicken. But because of all the little nasty sodium, of course Wendy told me before and I forgot until she talked about washing off sardines that I could soak and wash off some of that sodium from it. 
Um, so I am going to buy me some friggin' meats that might have bad sodium, but I know does not affect my stomach. And at least I will be able to control not eating all the crazy carb amount because crackers have so many carbs, so many. And um, potatoes was a it could be a slippery slope for me. Right now it's not because I don't really like the taste of it and that's one of the problems too. I'd rather replace it with something keto that I like the taste of. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's what I'm going to try. I'm going to find me some canned chicken and I cannot do the Costco one. The Costco one I actually gain weight. I breathe a little funny. I don't feel well doing the Costco one. You would think that one would be more clean, but I have discovered, I watched Thomas Delary a long time ago, I don't know, sometime this past year or the year before, did a whole, I think it was this year, did a whole entire video, maybe March or April, y'all, did a whole entire video about the secret little ingredient that's in the Costco one that causes people not to be able to lose weight on keto. Um, so I'm staying away from that. I know for sure it is not in the members mark. Um, I can't really do spam. It gives me horrible heartburn. I already know that. I can't do canned ham. Same thing. But there is some ham I can get from Aldi's. I can have. Um, so. And I think I can have almost all the keto chow. I'm a little iffy on the snickerdoodles right now. We're just going to try each one. I know I can have the um, chocolate toffee. Because one thing I forgot to show y'all that I've been eating. Really, I haven't been showing y'all what I've been eating. But I've also been eating the chocolate toffee butter um, perfect keto candy bar thingies I make. I've been eating some of those um, and having no problem with it. It's one reason I know. Okay, I have no problem because a lot of people will say, well, what about caffeine? Usually when you have girl or heartburn, they take you off of caffeine. So I've been on caffeine my whole entire life. We have taken me off of coffee before. It does not stop my heartburn. It gets worse. And on top of it, my heart goes insane. Heart palpitations, everything. I've been on caffeine since I had a bottle, okay, all my life. Good or bad, the doctor, my heart doctor, made it very clear a few years ago that I should never go off it. He tried to cut me down. And I'm only cut down, to, I'm cut down to two cups, y'all. Okay, I used to have at least four to five pots of coffee a day and at least a two liter of regular Mountain Dew a day. At least not counting all the cokes and stuff like that I would drink during the day as well so two cups of coffee and some days are only one is nothing at all and I could do a fast and just drink coffee for a day or two with no heartburn it's when I eat certain foods like fatty meat um, or I eat meat at all without a carb something to soak up my belly I don't think when I'm putting the meats in, doing like a carnivore-ish ketovore, I think my stomach acid is expecting more food to break down and there's not enough in there. But I can't eat more because it makes me sick. But the potatoes and bready things soak it up more. I don't know. That's why I've been told by other people who's messaged me like, it's because you're not eating the, a big enough amount of food. Since you're not eating carbs, you need a bigger amount. I can't handle a bigger amount. So I don't know what's true. I don't know what's not. All I know is I have a few things I know doesn't affect my stomach. So we're going to go with those things. Things that are keto. Um, I have no crackers in the house for any issues. Um, today was fine. I had literally steak fajita. Taco salad, of course no onion, no salsa. I did have tomatoes. I did have a lot of bell pepper. Um, there was a little tiny bit of refried beans at the bottom. I didn't really eat it. I ate a tiny bit of the shell. I ate no chips and salsa at all. Um, and that was my only meal today. And so far, no heartburn. However, I'm supposedly okay with wheat. Um, but I don't really know because at one point in my life they thought I had celiac disease. Um, but I obviously can't because I'm okay when I eat the crackers and stuff. But I've noticed my nose, even after 
the whole heartburn has pretty much been gone lately. After I eat things with wheat, um, and it might not even be the wheat, it might be some other ingredient in these concoctions, I seem to get more stuffy, really stuffy. So, or it's that time of the year. Y'all, this year has done my brain in on trying to analyze everything. Everyone's like, I may, well, some people will tell me I make it too complicated, just 20 total carbs or less and be done with it. It doesn't work that way for my body. I can't just be done with it because you can have vegetables and sometimes I can have the vegetables. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes I can have tons of steak. Sometimes I can't even look at the steak or I get heartburn or throw up. Um, it's like a revolving door that I never know which. It's like having a whole line of mystery doors in front of you. And you walk through one. You don't know what's on the other side. And you can walk through that door a million times. And it's going to be something different every time. So you got all these mystery doors. You go through each one and none of them is ever the same. Even if you've hit the same door over and over again, you'll walk through and it's something different. That's how I feel with my stomach, okay? Other than certain things like ham. Ham has been the only thing in my whole life I can eat. But it swells me very badly. Chicken breast used to be the only other thing I could eat. But I hate the taste since the sea work. And I can't do seasonings. I know for sure Pat Rica rips me apart. Um, black pepper rips me apart. Turmeric, cumin, like all these seasonings that I like, because there's only a few seasonings I actually like. Italian now is killing me. Um, garlic, can't have garlic. If, if it has these ingredients, I don't buy it anymore, period, because at least right now I cannot have them. So, you're watching me to go through all my experiments trying to figure out with my body. I could probably take anyone and be like, let me help you start keto. I can help you lose weight. Because most people don't have a crazy body like me. I know one of y'all have tons of allergies and you know exactly where I'm coming from. Okay, and I know there's some fibromyalgia people here who knows exactly where I'm coming from that and the migraines. And... But there's so much worse when I'm eating carbs because I'm, I'm scared to look at my sugar. I mean, I looked at that one night and it was perfectly normal, which was really weird. It shouldn't have been 500, 500 carbs that day. Yeah, because I didn't realize. I didn't realize how many carbs were in those crackers. And that's the day I went off the deep end with all the other stuff. I got triggered and went on a binge. Um... During that two hours, 137 was the highest my blood sugar went, which was crazy weird. Especially since a couple of months ago, friggin' chicken breast made it 200. Um, and I'm thinking, because Wendy and Harry are getting this constant glucose monitor, and I've been wanting one for a year. But they're like $175. I cannot make up my mind. Because I just had to order some chicken fence wire. Not to build a chicken coop, Okay. But to put on my back screen porch and maybe my front porch, right, staple it on there for a while on this side of the screen because we really need that area to let the cats go outside, have some fun, and get out of our hair and let me cook and let me clean. Um, but they're getting too heavy for this screen. Even though the back one is supposed to be a pet friendly, they're starting to rip the screen. Um, so it's cheaper just to go put some chicken wire up there. I know that's going to probably look really stupid, but guess what? No one sees it other than us. And the cats really love the outside. And like I said, I can't clean when they're in the house. I can't cook when they're in the house. Okay. Every time I cook, I need to like wipe everything down and throw them outside. Especially if I'm cooking for someone else. If it's just me, I could care less. If I'm cooking for anyone else, I don't want the AC on, nothing, because, you know, cat hair, right? No matter how much you clean, no matter how much you wipe down, if the cats are running through the house or the AC turns on, and no, 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 no. That's so, I need that porch, so we're doing that. And maybe do the front porch, too, so they could finally go out there, because my screen got ripped up in the storm. Um, and I, the screen to replace it right now is going to cost 
um, to get the good one because I paid three hundred dollars and it was crap. It broke in the friggin' storm and it ripped the shreds. So it would cost about a, I'm saying about a thousand dollars to fix the front porch screen um, because it got so messed up. Because it's the most expensive part of my porch other than the roof. Um, so we're just going cheap right now. What? What's Freya? You come see mommy? You want to say hi? She likes to get up there. Hey, don't play with daddy, so. Freya! You're not going to say hi? What are you eating? What are you eating? You made me nervous thinking you got in the mommy's stuff. Anyways. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go slowly through the keto chows, figure out which ones I can have, if I can, how to make them the way I can have them, go through some canned meat slowly, um, try cheese, like Kobe Jack cheese. We're just going to take one item and just see. And if it gives me heartburn, make me sick, I'll eat a little potato to get over it. We're going to make a list. I'm going to have backup stuff to calm down my stomach because I cannot have this bad of acid. It's not healthy. You can look it up. When you have gushing, gushing acid coming out of you, you can burn holes through your body. You can get cancer. Like, the list goes on and on. Um, so, the next couple of weeks will be about experimenting or more to see what I can have. And if I have to go to mom's and grab crackers during it, if the potatoes don't work, I'm praying everything I eat will be okay, but I have a backup if it's not okay. We're gonna make our list. And we're going to try to eat it. And we're going to hope every time we eat that thing, it doesn't cause an issue. We know I can have savory chicken keto chow. Chocolate toffee keto chow. I can have my premier drink so far. I've done the pumpkin one and it was perfectly fine. I can have heavy cream. No problem. I can have my collagens. I can have my coffees. No heartburn. No issues. I can have my Kerrygold butter or the new... Um, grass-fed one from Costco, no problems. Um, I can have the ham, the canned chicken. There was something else I've had recently. And I can't remember. This is why I'm writing it down. I got our little list in there. Um, but I don't feel like getting back out of bed. But, um, so that's what we're doing. That is what we're doing. We're making our little list. Oh, I can have, like, mayonnaise and mustard. And me, oh, ooh. um, my egg whites. My liquid cage-free egg whites. Um, making our little list. Carb quick, too. I can have carb quick. Whatever's on the list, that will be what we eat for the rest of the year. Until we have calmed my stomach down. And then, I'm also going to start going to the gym this week or next week. Um, constantly since we're paying for it we're paying for two different gyms the y and planet fitness planet fitness i signed a year contract and i thought we were going to go more but it's farther away than the y the y is right here um so we're just gonna figure it out um go to get the gym going eat from the list and then hopefully the first of january go to protein spare modify fast for a couple of months but rotates like some days that and some days just normal keto then some days that you know just mixing it up so we don't mess up my metabolism because i'm starting to really think my metabolism got really messed up when i had no appetite and i kind of stopped eating like i was only eating five six hundred calories a day for a long time so i'm starting to worry that we messed that up but we will see so that is the plan do you have hiccups what are you doing when did you sneak up there? Thumper. You're looking at yourself. Oh, you're such a pretty kitty. What's so up, pretty? You're one of mommy's prettiest kitties. Sure. Didn't realize he had snuck up there. Um, yeah. Y'all, if they start fighting at night, right above my head, they have fallen off on me quite a few times. I've gotten scratched twice. Yeah, y'all better behave. At least these two love each other. Yeah. Okay, they're a pain in the butt, and I have so many complaints about 
the cleaning, them being sick, and they're perfectly healthy now. I figured out what was wrong with them. Um, but I just love them to death, and they can bring me a lot of joy, just like children, just like my daughter. Um, so it turned out I had changed formulas to the cat food for indoor cats um, because I was told they, I needed to since they were indoor cats, but wrong. They can't handle it. It might be the same brand, but whatever was in it, they cannot handle. We went back to our original, and we finally got some Aldi soft food again, and they can eat that one. Um, I'm worried they're going to run out, but I only give it to them once a day, a quarter can. So I take two cans, I break it up into eight pieces for them, and that's all they get. They don't need a lot. They drink tons of water. They're not going to get dehydrated, and they eat their tender morsel whatever cat food every single day so that's that was the problem changing their cat food and then i cooked them some boneless skinless chicken breast in the pressure cooker with no salt or anything and some rice um about once a week now the boneless skinless chicken breast though i, I make a whole pack from aldi's for like 12 dollars, and that's enough for more like the whole entire week they could have i split one chicken breast between eight cats a day um, so they're not getting a whole lot. And on the days I do that, they don't get the canned food. I just mix it up. Um, so, and they can't deal with eggs. Eggs make them throw up. It's so funny. <laughs> it's like they have an egg allergy, like their mommy and their sissy because my daughter has an egg allergy. So, but anyways, I'm going to shut up. This is probably a very, very long video. Um, I'll put, probably put it together tomorrow because like I said, it's around 3 a.m. We just don't sleep here.